I said to myself, uh, I said, put him next week, there'll be a, a small oil. Lump. So tonight, there'll be a big oil. We'll start already. Because next week, it's already the tonus. N- next week, so this is Monday. The tonus is Monday. So why Sunday should be? Yeah, maybe your wife will send you shopping on uh, Sunday. <laughs> Who, if somebody doesn't have a wife. So David should have help by next <laughs> Monday, it'll be there. Ooh, next Monday. Huh? Okay. Uh, anyway, we're starting to do in Yoni Purim. Can you give me about from? Yeah, yeah, give one to Perez if you could. Thank you so much. That's not my house. No, no, okay. So. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, sicha about, um, you know, this year, it's a beautiful kvius. Um Always we say that the Shabbos before uh, a Yom Tev has a shaykh, especially here, that the Gemara says that the reason why we read the Pasha Zohar before uh, Purim is Neskarim Venasim, because we want to, Mechiyas HaMolek, is to do it Yechiyas HaMolek. Um, so we read the Shabbos before Mechias Amalek because Haman is from descendants of Amalek. The Chinuch says the Vedish. The Chinuch says the Fisher Minyan Shul Yamki Haman Eroshay Mezarek. This year, the Kviyus of Shabbos, this coming Shabbos, right. is Yud Aleph Adar. Okay. And the Mishnah so, says Megillah Nikraz Be Yud Aleph Be Yud Beis Be Yud Gimel Be Yud Dalit Be Tezvav. So this Shabbos, when we read Zohar, it's not only a Hagdoma, but Baba actually Yom. this Shabbos, we're reading Baba Yom. Boy Boy Yom. As I like to announce in Beis Menachem Mendel, Boy Boy Yom. By the way, I'm stumped. Before we start to share commercial break, especially, we have to make a Tadarama about the Matzahs. Really, we should have done it last uh, Shabbos. This coming Shabbos is uh, right after Shabbos. We're, we're baking on Shushan Purim. Yeah. We need we need people to put in the orders, and uh, we need people that want to come uh, work. Yeah. They <laughs> come on, we're going to push it. What are you going to do? COD? You can't order nothing before you pay. It's not like that. No, you became only after you buy it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I no, I you. You have anything you to, like to do? Yeah. Although egg mats uh, this year yeah. would be yeah. more expensive yeah. than you know, yeah. this that's a joke over here. Okay, so. What about you? Actually, actually, there is. Uh, the, is that uh, for the women to listen? Nah, they can hear on Purim. They hear that the Kriya of uh, Purim is also about Mechia Samolak. Right. The Kriya on Purim is also Mechia Samolak. But usually they don't come for, for laning. Yeah, it's not the result. They must come. And some, they can come on Purim. But it's better if they come Shabbos because it's Boba Yom. Yeah, there's a certain mile, yeah. Um, yeah. I could sell, I could sell Michael Samolak, but I don't want to. I can say. Not if you have a Molak. A everybody has, you have to get rid of it. That does it. That does it. What do you want to pay to get rid of it? That's the question. So the embassy is the Gemara says in the first half of Megillah that the thing is a Yudala Fid Bezid Gimel is only in the times. Um, and the sure. times when the Beis Hamikdash, the time when Yidnu Shreim Alad Mosam, Vachulu, well, we don't do it today. The Gemara says a reason why. Uh, the Gemara says the people are conditioned that thirty days after Purim is Pesach, and then they're going to start making Purim and Yudalaf. They might start Pesach three days early and mm-hmm. eat Chametz three days. Early. Anyway, we don't do Megillah Nikrit Yudalaf Yudbeis Yud Gimel. However, Shachmar says person knows he's going to be in on Purim somewhere. He's not going to have a Megillah. So he but should read Yudalaf Yudbeis Yud Gimel without a Baruch, but still there's in. And the Ramaz Moisev, the Yishalmi says that the whole Chodesh, because the Chodesh is an epoch land, the whole Chodesh. So what's so special about Yudalaf Yudbeis Yud Gimel if it's called a Chodesh? So this is what we're going to talk about today. A Moiridike Geshmak Esicha. Half of it is a is a Moiridike Lomdus in the in in this Megillah Nikri Yudalaf Yudbeis Yud Gimel Yudalat Tezvav. And then the second half is a Inyan Api Kabol and Chzidus Atifa Inyan from the Shalom Hakodesh. Now tonight we're planning to do half, and the other half of Mitzvah Shem either next Sunday or Mitzvah Shem the Derai V'Derai in the Mitzvah Shem Shabbos, which is going to be Yud Aleph by Bayoim. We'll learn the other half of you know the Shalom Hakodesh. Who said the whole month? The Shami, and he says on the pasuk, "Achoydesh Hashem Epach," and that's very Shachnoroch. So 
That's why I wrote in the shuch, in the thing, and while I finish, I want to tell you a story about it. I wrote about the shear. Oh, you never sent it out. Um, yeah, oh, like you did? did? Yeah. A homatash for every day. Oh. A homatash for every day I keeps homing away. Oh, you sent it out? Okay. Yeah, it. A homatash for every day. You guarantee that the sugar are going down? Yeah. Keep homing away. Because like, why I say huh? <laughs> Hang it up and I'll show this. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't turn it back to the work. Why I said it's good to read it every day? But Baruch Hashem, I'm not all Megillah by heart. I didn't read it every day. But it's good. You can learn by heart. Uh, if you read it every day, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Still, it's good. Okay. So let's start. The Masech is Megillah starts that base. Uh, I'm just uh, quoting over here. Mamish, the lines that are. Essential that we need to read. Megillah Nikras be Yedalav be Yedveis be Yedgimel be Yedalav be Tezvav. Loi Pachas v'la Yosef. Not before, not later. Krochin amokofim chem and mimoisi shua binum. Koirim be Tezvav. Korim vayoretz gedolus. Koirim be Yedalav. Elo shakvorim akdim aliyim aknisa. They can go back and they get bumped back to Yedalav, Yedveis, or Yedgimel. Okay, so the Mishnah goes through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Shabbat, Sunday. Okay. It's, Bottom line is that that uh, that they owe, if if it's Monday, if Yom Yudalid is Monday or Thursday, so then the Bnei Kfarim and the Ayyaras do the same thing. But if it's a day earlier, Lamasho uh, Yom Yudalid is on Thursday. So then you get bumped back to the earlier Yom Aknis. Okay. So there's a Pirush Hoin Ashir, which is mostly really a Kabbalah, but there's a few things in Nigla here from one of the big Mekobolim, Emmanuel uh, Chaidiki. Um, he asks a simple Kasha. It's not so Kabbalah, it's a, it's a Kasha. He asks, why is it the Seder? Why is it Yudalaf Yudbez Yudgimel Yudalaf Tezvav? And later when the Mishnah starts explaining, he says, he starts with Tezvav Yudalad and the other way around. It really, it's a little funny say that the, the, the usual when we read Megillah is the regular. The Mishnah could have started the other way. Megillah Nikras, Betezvav, Biyudalad, Biyudgimel, Biyudbez, Biyudalad. Right. So it's going to say, there's not jumping around. But still, Tezvav is the Ike day. That was the day of Shushan Abira. And not only Shushan, but also all the all other Mayoras Amakovas Chaim Mimoisi Shobinun also do it as well. And then you go to Yudalav. Why does the mission start Yudalav? Yudalav. Who does the Yudalav? And the tide of the base of Mikdash, the Nek Forum, and the Mayor. Sometimes it came out. Came out such a Kriyas once in 17 years. So why are you starting with Migil and the Kras with Yudalav? We say Tachim from Yudalav, or we don't? We do. We do. I think everyone does. But no, there no, could no, be, no, could no, be, no, be no, with Mambe no. or different. Just because. You don't get out that uh, this design. The Ritva asked another cash. And the Turi Evan. Why does the Mishnah say, Megillah Nikra'as, be Yudalaf, be Yudbez, be Yudgimel, be Yudalaf? Why doesn't it say, Koirin esa Megillah? Nikra'at is the best. Yeah, and also in the other places. Read it in the Ritva. Hodik, Tana Lishna. The Megillah Nikraz, Veloy, Tony Lishna, the Koidina Samagila. Why don't we use the language of Koidina Samagila? Could the Tony Hossa Koidina Sashma Mashum, the Hoche Kriya Echad, Shechad Koid of a Kulum Shmia. Over here, one person reads, and everyone's re- listening. So that's why Nikraz, a Shankin, the Krishma, Shekol Echim, and Chayv Likras, that everyone is Chayv to read, Lashan and Mepiv. They say it, and one doesn't moitzi the other one. What do you say, Nikrat or Nikret? In Hebrew, it's Nikret. Mm-hmm. Nikret, okay. Nikret. But they didn't say koidin. But this question was when we say koidin. Okay. The truth is, also in Shema, there's a, you know, poiris or Shema, that one person could be moitzi everyone. So, mm. um, yeah, yeah. Similar special for you. By Chris and Korach in the Mishma? Well, um, it's called Korin or the I don't know. I have to look at the Kama. Right. The Turi Evan gives another text. He says that over here is Manam Chalukim Heim. There is Yudalaf, Yudbez, Yudgimel, Yudalaf, of Bog. So therefore, therefore you say, Mashenkin Krishma is every day. Mu Yeshlemad Embezab Kpeda Kokach. 
He says the truth is it's not a good teretz. He, he admits himself his teretz is not so good. Why? It non veloy molin vamila. It says molin, and however the other mission says kote nimal lishmoina litisha liasora. Whatever depends different cases. So uh, why don't we? We have no problem. We say the lashon molin not uh, uh, yeah not nimal. And and the there says ben shmoina ben nimal. Yeah. That's so and possible. over there we say Molin. So he says that's why his teretz is not good. So he blighted to Takash. So why Taka does the Mishnah start the first words of Masachas Megillah Megillah Nikras and it doesn't say the Loshin Koyin Esa Megillah. Okay, let's read a little bit in the Gemara. Gemara says Megillah Nikras be Yudalaf. It could be you read it in day eleven. So Gemara Minol. How do we know this? So the Gemara and all of them can be in the Come on, and come make you like for him. This Magdimali Magnisa. What do you mean? I'm going to say the Gemara is going to say later. We wanted to make it easier for the Bnei Kfar and Bnei Ayores. We'll talk about it in a minute. In order to make it good for the Yid. So Kadeshi Sab Kamei Mazal Achem Shabakrochim. In order for them to bring water and food for their brothers in the big cities. So that's the reason why we we did it that they should could do it two three days earlier. No, so says I'm not hochi coming in. This is my question. So the banchik nesagdela made the takon of this yom tovapurim. He said anter anchik nesagdela yudal abetes of tikkun. Also rabban of akri takanta takinu anchik nesagdela. Is it possible that a later rabban came and they ripped out the takon that was the original one from the anchik nesagdela? But now we learned the mishnah. You can't rip out what another bezin did unless you're bigger. Taka today, there is a, the reform movement. They feel that they're bigger than the Chachamim Danshkin Sagdoyla. So they can rip out their Takonas. Uh, but but uh, but the Shloyme Amunah Yisrael, the rest of us, we don't think we're bigger. We're smaller. So we can't rip out the Takonas and we can't change the Takonas of Anshkin Sagdoyla. If the Anshkin Sagdoyla said, Obviously, just, huh? obviously, Chachomim is after Anshkin Sagdoyla. Right. So who could be say that they're bigger than Anshkin Sagdoyla? El Abshit to the Kul Anshkin Sagdoyla Tikno. The Gemara says, it's obviously, that Anshkin Sagdoyla were attacking day 11, day 12, day 13, day 14, day 15. Even though there's no remnant. Even though it doesn't say in the Megillah. So the Gemara says, Hey, Chirim, he's at least it should be a remnant for in the Megillah. It's like a long word. You could say even say bismanam. Why bismanehem? Zmanim harbe tiknu. They made a lot of zman. The Gemara goes on to fix up this and explain this limit. Okay, very nice. Then there's a further in the Gemara. Daf dalad of a dalad from number days. Omer like they want to do one day and we do it all week. Hmm. The Maram is it. The Maram is it in the pasuk. It's man nehem. I'm saying I'm home and want to do it in one. Day. Oh like, yeah, yeah. He made a party all week. Yeah. He's after lochas. After lochas home. Right. Don't call me the old man, but they're fooling. Yeah. I'll make you doubt. Maybe give me that all week. He said, "We zog vayt in the gemara." I'm Rabbi Chinina. Chinina said, "Come and make you like water. We smack dimly like nisa." Why did they say that the Kfarim could do one or two or three days early that they could celebrate Purim, that they read the Megillah two or three days early? In order for them to be able to, for the people in the big cities to have food. So the people who, the people in the big cities, how do they have food? How do you have food when you live in Flatbush? From the, from the farms, farms outside, from the Kfarim. The Kfar is where they, they have farms. The vegetables. And, uh, and they bring in the eggs, and they bring in the chickens, and they bring in the goats, vegetables. and they bring in the cows, and they bring in the vegetables. See, they bring yeah. the flour. What grows in the city? What grows? Nothing. So so it's for the benefit of the Anche Akrach, the big city, we said that let the people in the Kfarim, which are the, like, uh, the, the farmers, food. Read the Megillah a few days early. And then on Purim, they, they don't have to hear the Megillah. So they could, you know, come into the town and they'll put out fish and they'll put out uh, flesh and they'll put out this and there'll be more business. And they, on Purim, there'll be more food to buy. 
They didn't have grocery stores and refrigerators and freezers. So if we can have the farmers that if they don't have to hear the Megillah because they already heard it a day before, so it will be more food in the marketplace on Purim. The, the floss and the, and the all this day, everything was fresh. Oh, everything. and everything will be fresh. Okay, so the Gemara continues. So the Gemara says, You want to tell me that this Takona was for the benefit of the people of the big cities? Can't be. No, the Kochim. The Kochim is the big city. But now, and holy is Beshenik for the Yeretz Gedalus Kerem Babayam. Vimis Likad Malimak Nisa. So why, 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 if it was Monday, everyone does it on Monday? So Gemara says, no, 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 you can't. You bump them back to Thursday. It's it's a sort of a sort of a tikkun rabbanon. Okay, Gemara says, okay, I'll give you a different question. Toshma acholi is bechamishik parim vayores gedelus kerem bebayim. We miss the kadma liyamak nisa and bump them back to yamak nisa to Monday. The achad osam yamak nisa. So the yamak nisa lo gnisa lo dechin. We don't want to push back from one yamak nisa. Okay, the Gemara says, okay, fine. Toshma, I'll give you a different cash. I'm reviewed the emes of his match and achnasa b'shenim mechamish. Mok b'shenim achnasa b'shenim mechamish and kerenay salo b'smana. It's only in the, when the when when the when the kvarim are always coming in b'shem b'chemish. Otherwise, you read it the regular time. Visal da'ita takona the krochim he. If it's a takana taka, takana for the people in the big cities, mishum they nechnasim b'shem b'chemish im afsula the krochim. Why should the bnei krochim lose? It may there should always be this takana that the that the people in the kvarim could read it earlier. This way, they could bring food. What's the difference if they usually come b'shem b'chemish or not? So the gemara loyte mekadeshi sabku ma'im amazon. You shouldn't say that Reb Chanina. You shouldn't say that Reb Chanina said Kedesh Yisab Kamayim Ozen. He said something else. Elaim Mipnei, not Kedei. Mipnei Shem Yisab Kamayim Ozen Lachem Shibekarachim. What is the difference of Kedei and Mipnei? The Shaila is who are we trying to make a takana to protect the people in the Karachim or to protect the people in the Kvona? The answer is not for the Karachim. We don't care for the people in the big cities. Let them go to bingos before Yom Tov. Let them, we're not worried about that. We're worried about the Bnei Kfarim. We're worried about the Bnei Kfarim. It's a good day to do business for them. It's a good day for business. Putin, everyone wants to buy extra food, fresh food, good food. Putin, even the beggars get extra money. They want to spend the money right away. It's a good day. So, so, so the, the Ritva and the Rajba both have a different, little bit different shot, but the same because it's good for them to read the Megillah on one day, and next day they can enjoy business. just doing business. But Rashi says, no, it's not, and which according to that, it's Mitzat Simchas Purim. Rashi says, no, it's it's a reward for them. Why is it a reward for them? Because they're the hard farmers that are working every day to plow and plant and do, and, and, and it's good for the people in the cities that they're providing so, and today is a good day for business. So Chazal didn't want to take away a good day for business for them. It's, 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 it's already, you know, like if you're Jewish and you have to take off, you work for the public school, you work for the city, and it's bad enough you have to take off so many days. So Chacham said, you know, let's have Rachmanus on these people. They, they're working hard. They're providing food. Not Kedeshis. Mipnei Masapkas. Because they're always, they're the who brings food to the big cities in those days. The Yidalach and the little Kfarim, that they raise the chickens and the goats. They're the ones that plow barley and, and flour. They're the ones that catch the fish and grow the tomatoes and the lettuce. So today, I'm putting, if, you, if, if they have to hear Megillah, so they can't work. So they're going to lose business. So Mipnei Misapkas Mayim Umozen. So it's a reward for them that, you know what, you know, you guys could hear Megillah two days early. And on Purim, which is a good day of business, because there's no better day in business in the Jewish market than Purim, you're ready. You're done. You already did the Megillah yesterday. So you could stand in the marketplace from early in the morning. You could schlep, you could take, you could do, and you could do extra business. If they do business, who do they do business with? The IRS, one day they send the Megillah. So good, but still, they have to set up the table. They have to take time to set at the table to bring the merchandise. I understand, I understand. This way, when the guys come out from Shul from Megillah, the tables are all set already, but and it's everything. Right, exactly. Huh? Yeah. 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 yeah, okay, yeah, exactly. Sure, 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 sure. You got the herring? Okay. <laughs> okay.
That's so good. that's it. Well, okay. I have a. Um, are you still? Uh, I ask the question after you okay. lay out the. Okay. Okay. Time is short. And, okay. Yes. Let's. Uh, but. Okay. Straight to it. So the Rebbe like this. Since this takana is because the people, the farmers, we want to reward the farmers, give them an extra day. Like I have a, there's a yid here in Fares that says God doesn't like the farmers. It's God doesn't like the farmers. All of a sudden, it's the season. I get hit with poor. I get I get hit with Pesach. Oh, uh, I get hit with I get hit with eight days that I can't do work. Then I get hit with shavuos as I'm as I'm starting my when, business. When is the business? Yeah, why couldn't Hashem make uh, Pesach and Hanukkah? You know what I mean. So here we want to be nice to the peasants. So yeah. okay. So the Rebbe says like this. So a person might think. So really, it's a din in the Gavra, not in the Chefz. In other words, really, which is the Purim? Which day is Purim? Which is the Zman of Kriya Samagila on your day 15 and 16? On Yudalad and Tezvah? I'm sorry, 14 and 15. On Yudalad and Tezvah. Well, the Meicham says a reward for the for the pushcart people. So we'll let oh, them yeah. do it. And there, Yudalad and Bezid Gimel. As a reward for these guys so that are pushing on the person, not so the it's person. on the person, but it's not really the zman. Today is not really the zman. Therefore, the mission says no, megila nikras, not koyin as a megila, which means the gavra. Megila nikras the chefza. When is the zman of kriyas a megila? Beyud aleph, beyud beis, beyud gimel. It's a chiddush. If you say first tezvav beyud aleph, think that that's it. But the other day is just there. Uh, no, Megillah Nikras. That the Megillah is Nikra. It's not only Koyrin on the Gavre. It's this is the real Zman of reading the Megillah. The real Zman of reading the Megillah is Yudalev, Yudbeis, Yudgimel, Yudalev, Tezvav. This is the real Zman. It's the Chefza. Megillah Nikras. Now we understand to answer a simple question. If you could read the Megillah in Hamatash every day. The Haman, the Hamatasha day keeps Haman away. So if you can have Megillah, which is what the Shulchan Aruch brings, that the whole Chodesh. So, and then you say you could also read the Megillah, so what's the difference? If push comes to shove, you can read it the whole Chodesh. So what's the difference between Yudalaf Yud Bez Yud Gimel? And it's not mashma that it's a Machloikis, like some want to say, because the Shulchan Aruch brings it the that you should, if you can't read it on your uh, on your dalit as well, do it your dalit based gimel. But you know, push comes to shove, you can do the whole month. But even after tesvav, yeah, after a whole month, a whole month after a day, from Aleph yeah. to Aleph day, you can do it. So what's the difference? What's so special? Megillah mm-hmm. Nikras, your dalit, your base, your gimel. Oh, and also not shem Hashem there. Wait a second. So you make a bracha, you shem Hashem. You make a bracha before and after. So, so, so the answer is that if he reads it, the rest of the chodesh it's in the gavra. He was an onus, so we say he can allow to read it with a bracha. Again, today we don't do we do it without a bracha, but in the days of the kishanim ketikunim beis hamikdash, the fagid had no choice. He read it. He was, in, he was stuck in Barbados without a megillah, and yeah. he can read any day in the month. Okay. But that wasn't the real Zman of Megillah. It's that wasn't the real Zman. It was for him. It's in the Gavre. But Yud Aleph, Yud Beis, Yud Gimel, Yud Aleph. That was the real Zman. That's the real Zman. That's the real Zman. What's the Nafkamina, if it's the real Zman or not the real Zman? So the Rebbe says uh, a few things in Nafkamina. One is we know that a mitzvah, when it's Zman, it pushes off something else. If there's a if the oh, oh, but but which mitzvah goes first, which is the the one that's man now is the zman. So if he was busy with another mitzvah, so if it's Yom Yud Aleph, Megillah takes precedence. Why? Because does the zman. If you're from the Bnei Kvarim, today is the zman. But if it's Yud or it's Chav in the Chodesh, it's not the zman. You made the zman, but it's not the zman. It's not the real zman. Another enough community that I've said perhaps. The Mephoshim will ask if it's Yudei Yud Aleph. And these guys are Amaratsam, for example, these peasants, they don't know how to read Megillah. So they want it, they come to Beis Menachem Mendel, and they hear Beis Menachem Mendel is the best Balkoid in the whole Flatbush. It's true. It's true. 
Who is it? So, uh, so, so they hear that here's the best Balkoida. So they come here. So the, the Balkoida says, I don't know. I, I know a lot of re- make the brocha and read on Purim. But, and, and, and even if you read the second or third time, if those people can't make the brocha, he's allowed to make the brocha for them. But not Yudalaf. But not Yudalaf. So there's a machloikis. So the Rebbe says that perhaps that the, 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 the opinion, there are opinions that said that he could make the brocha in Yudalaf. But what if, if they come on Yud? Or they come on Chav Ches Lachodesh? No, then he can't make the bracha anymore. Even the opinion that says he's allowed to reach for them and make the bracha. Opinion that all the bracha. The day that machen the bracha, the kenish, he can't make it. It's bracha levatola. It's not for him. It's not this man. It's not this man. It's it's not his man for him. For them, that is man, but not for not him. for him. Mashen kin yudale. It's them. It's his man for Klal Yisrael. It is this man. Okay. Good. Chazal said that uh, you know Reuven will do it on Yudalev, Shimon will do it Yud Beis, you but know Yud Gimel. But this, this is, is for this man. This is for this man. And then the Rebbe says, with this you can understand that the Yushalmi learns a little different. The the, the Bible says Zmanim Harbet Tiknulam, Zmanayem. The Yushalmi says Zmanim Achirim Tiknulam. So the Rebbe says, what's an afkamin in the Bible in Yushalmi? Exactly this. The Bible holds Zmanim Harbet Tiknulam. That these are all the real Zman. Yudalaf is the Zman. Yudbez is the Zman. Yudgimbal is the Zman. The Yushalmi holds no Zmanim Achirim Tikna. The real Zman is Yudalaf. Oh, but if you have no choice, they made Zmanim Achirim. But the Bible holds no. It's, it's the real Zman. It's the real Zman. But it's no different between Yushalmi and. Yeah, it is. There is a difference. Because Yudalaf, Yudbez, Gimbal, Yudalaf, or the whole Kurdish. So again, if you, the difference is the whole Chodesh, if you do it on the rest of the days of the Chodesh, the way we're explaining now in the Bavli, that the, the other days in the Chodesh is not you, the real Zman. Not this Zman, but to you it is Zman. Only for you it's this Zman. It's like but, uh, uh, somebody go in the desert and he doesn't know when it's Shabbos. To him, Shabbos is when he counts six days. Right. He he made his Zman. It's not in this Zman. It's not Bemis. Mashenke in Yudal of Yud Beis Gimel. It's Bemis. It's Bemis Ayom. Bemis. Okay, very good. It's a, it's a, just, it's a posh shot and it's a beautiful shot. Otherwise, it's hard to understand. What's the difference if the Shukhnor says you could read it? The whole Chodesh, Asha Chodesh, Asha Nepach Lahem. So you make something to you. So, so what's the Chodesh of Yudal, of Yud Beis, Yud Gimel? The answer is the whole month. It's not the real Zman. It's very nice. A Hamatash away, a day, keeps humming away. But it's for, it's, it's not the real Zman. But Yudal, if you base it Gimel, that's the real Zman. A Yid that reads it in those days, that's the real Zman. Yeah. I tried to copy like So, uh, so, so, okay, that's it. Zayashen. This is the Nigla. It's a Zayashen of Pshat. And now we understand the difference of what's so special about me, Gila Nikri, Yudal, if you base it Gimel, of Yudal, it is well. In Mitzvah Shem, we'll talk about this. There's a lot of soydas in this Mishnah from the from the Shaloh, and it's brought from Mikabolim and the Chassidus. Okay, but just to be for this, uh, Nakuda, it's a Chidush, like the Megillah is one of the Kisvei Kodesh. And it doesn't really say in the Megillah that you could read on Yudalot, Yudbez, Yudgimel, Yudalot. It just, it's a Remez. It's a Remez because it says, Ma'anehem. So the Rebbe says you have to realize that the Megillus Esther is very different than any other any other part of Torah. Shmuel, the Ebesha told him to write. He wrote as a chelik of Kisvei Kodesh. Almost. Yo, yo. The Ebesha told him to write. He wrote. Every Navi wrote that. Every Navi wrote his thing. The Megillus Esther was written and she asked the Chazal, the Anshim Zagdol, Kisvuni L'Doyrus. And then they had a shackle of a target. Should we do it? Should we not do it? And then they decided to do it. It's different. It's not... It didn't come from them. It's not that it wasn't... Take, the uh, Evishter was masking, okay. and they decided that the Kavei Elodotis, and the Zerambam says that the Kolan, Sifre Nevi'em V'cholak Suvim Asidim Le'ibotli Moise Meshur, Chutzum V'yilis Esther, V'rei K'kayem Eske Chamisha Chum Shetoyra, that I would add, but still, when it originally, when it was, was founded, it wasn't clear what's going to be. 
and they sent it to Anshik Nesagdoyla. So Anshik Nesagdoyla had the right to say, okay, yes, we decided it's going to be a Yom Tov, and you know how it's going to be? You Dalet, you Beis, you Gimel, you Dalet, Tezvav. That's it. That's what they decided. Another thing about Kisvuni is a very interesting thing. All the Mephorshim talk about it. And all the Sifri Musa talk about it, the Sifri Chesidus and the Kabbalah talk about this. You don't find Hashem's name even once in the Megillah. You don't find Hashem's name even once Never in the Megillah. Oh. What's the reason? So in Pshat, there's a Pshat. You should know. Every, you know, everything has a rational and a very simple Pshat. Even as it says, that Mordechai had thinking like this. What's going to happen? He's Mishnah Labelech HaChashvedish, right? He's going to write now on Megillah. What is, what's going to happen? In this, they're going to take this Megillah and they're going to, they're going to write it. They're going to quote it. They're going, by, they're going to know what's going on. So they're going to quote it. Every time when it comes to Hashem's name, what are they going to write? Yudke Vavke? They're going to write Alakim? No. No? They'll write some, you know, they can write the Hashem of the Zori. So it'll be, Hei Pachakovet to the Hashem of God, Lord Gibber Van Neurif and Eivish. Therefore, he decided to do a trick, to write the entire Megillah without one Yudke Vavke. Therefore, if the Goyim will quote it, they're not going to have a place to put in their name of Avoy Dezor. That's it. Okay, that's the Pshat, the that's, Ibn Ezer. It's nice. It's, it's, you have to understand where, the, where it comes from. But still, in, 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 Pnimius. in Pnimius, it's hard to imagine that for the, because of a couple of Goyim in the Modo Yaporis that had died already, you know, many years ago, that kingdom doesn't exist anymore. Uh, even Paris doesn't, they're not, their name is not Paris anymore, it's Iran, it's not called Paris anymore. There's always Paris, there's no more Paris. There's no Paris in Paris. There's no Paris anymore. <laughs> the, only, the Farsi live in Los Angeles, they don't live, they don't live anymore in Paris. <laughs> so, so it's given that nothing is left. So why should we be concerned that the weather, so what they're going to say, what they're going to do, what they're going to write? The answer is that, uh, that they're, but, oh, the Chassid says, that there's a certain mila. There's a certain mila. What's the mila? So this says that when the Abish is revealed through a name, every one of the Abish's name is a way that we relate to Hashem. But it says, Anoichi doesn't have a kedusha. Why? Because it's the Abish himself. Zoya says, The Lord's Ram is Bishum Oizvikoitz. The Abish himself doesn't. You can't hold them in any in any letter and any ois any koitzes. The holiness is too big. So that's why it ends up anoichet shavalakecha. Anoichet itself has no kedusha. So the Rebbe says the same thing is here. The pasuk says Esther menatoyre menayim shenemar the anoichi the anoichi has that aspect. When it's talking about anoichi Hashem alakecha the anoichi anoichi Hashem alakecha. It has to ask you. You can't reveal it. Even in Yudke Vavke, the highest of Hashem's name, you can't reveal it there. It's higher than that. And therefore, this is something which is not going to be bottled even in Moisa Mashiach. Because over here, it's Seher Tzachon, the wow. Seher Tzachon, the Abish himself. The Rebbe says that this is connected with this week's Pasha. The only Pasha for when Moshe Rabbein is born that doesn't have his name is which Pasha? Tetzava, which is this week's Pasha. Right. So the Mephoshim say, uh, the, the G'doy Yisrael said, Rebbe that you should know that this, the Remez here is, that uh, the Remez here is, Ve'ato, is the Atzmi Yusuf Moshe. The Emoshe himself, higher than, the, higher than his name. And um, and what, where do we see the Atzmi Yusuf Moshe? It's Mesidus Nefesh. Because the Chazal said, why is it in his name not mentioned? Because he said, I am a chen and I'm a sifr chash If you're not a if you're not going to forgive the Jews, raise me. Because he said that one Pasha needed to have his name erased. So where do you see the Atzmius of Moshe Rabbeinu? The Atzmius of Moshe Rabbeinu, before there is any Ois Vekoitz, the Atzmius of Moshe Rabbeinu, the Mesidus Nefesh of Moshe Rabbeinu. So same thing, the same thing in the Megillah. Where's the Atzmius of the Ebesh, the Vanoichi? It's the Hastar Hastar in the Megillah. Okay. All the other Teasa and the Tanakh, every book, even in Yoel and Everybody has a minimum of Hashem. Every one of them, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. 
Yep, exactly. Only one. And how is the more different than all the other? And say to not that the other books have the Shem Hashem. That's why this has a Mila. This has a certain Mila. So this, what the, makes Megillus Esther different that it does not it's have higher than the name? And how is Megillus Esther higher than all the other Kisvei Tanakh? Yes, that's a good question. We have to leave that for okay. another time. Fair enough, no, because you said Mashiach will come. This, this, no, yeah, exactly. Because we said Mashiach will come. I think it's battle only. Like right. You said. Right. They weren't commanded by David to write it all, all right? Because yeah, they wrote it, was, it and then David uh, agreed. Mashiach doesn't want to take away the dream from us. Okay, so let's uh, let's let two two nakudas. Huh? Mashiach doesn't want to take away the dream from us. No, Chazor <laughs> don't. They're made to drink more. This is the same. Huh? The koitzim that are on the oasis, like the yud has a koitz, the tag, and then there's the koitzim. Yeah, it's it's like tagalach. There was the there is a the, 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 I was talking about the koitzish koitzish that the, every day in the koitzish, if you eat a hamatash a day, you'll eat you'll keep hamon away. So. <laughs> Yeah. If you want a day, you might So, so, and if you want to be hard, they have two a day. So, <laughs> so the, uh, there's a shliach in Australia, the Tzelt, he was going a Mavtzoim, and uh, it's Rabbi Gutnik's son, Rabbi Gutnik's son. He's a shliach, he was a, he was a rough for many years in, the, in one of the, Melbourne. Big, in Melbourne. So he was a tough shech of Zion, they made a Tararam, uh, about making sure every year puts on film, so it was a day before Shavuos, and they, they were going to hassle one of the big hospitals in New York to put on uh, to put on film with Eden, and uh, it was right after the davening seven seventy. But uh, they knew they were going to be a whole day, so he went into Khan's grocery store and he chopped a whole bunch. Oops, sorry, chopped a whole bunch of things, put it there. And he paid for it, and in the car they opened the bag, and everyone took a Danish or something. And someone said, uh, "He said, Shamber, you know what you got here in the bag? You got three hamantash." They said, oh, Hamatash, and it's Mastama Fakev to the Goyf, Khan's grocery. So it's uh, you know, from, from Adar, Adar, this is an oldie. It's an oldie. So everyone ate up the Danishes, and the Hamantash was left in the bag. Okay. Shine. They got the Muftoim, and they went around. You know how it is a lot of times in Muftoim, a person resists. They don't want to put on film, for example. But once they put on film, they feel very happy. You see that Noah and a Yiddish face once he does a mitzvah. Anyway, they came to a room. And they asked the, they asked the, asked the per- so person got Bruges, he, no, this is my God, what, you tell me what to do. And he, so, the, so one, so one of the boys says, so he's getting so angry, so he's agitated. He says, you know what, Rabbi will give you a fruit to make a bracha. He says, I want bracha, bracha. If, 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 if you give me a hamatash, I'll put on film. Instead of shoes. And like the like light bulbs went up. And the guy, the guy said, Yeah, you could do it. Hamatash, I put on film. And flying out of the hospital, he went to the parking lot and he got he got the bag with the hamatash. In, and they brought him the hamatash and he, he made a bracha. And while he was munching in the hamatash, they put out film. <laughs> before he went back, <laughs> they, before he went back to Australia and he had Yechidus, he told the Rebbe the story. The Rebbe smiled. The Rebbe said, I was like him, I gave him Hamatash and he hadn't talked. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the says, the whole Chodesh came in Essen. The Hamatash a day will keep Haman awake. The whole Chodesh. The Chodesh is an epoch lamb. The whole Chodesh is taken. But what's the specialty about Yud Aleph, Megillah, Nikraz, Yud Aleph, Yud Beis, Yud Gimel, is that these three days are the real Zman. It's the real Zman. For a that does it that day, it's not only the Gavr, it's the real Zman. That's why Megillah, Nikraz, not quite in this fan for the Kasha from the Turei Oven and the Ritva, that Megillah, Nikraz, it's in the Chefza. This is the real Zman. Yud Aleph, Yud Beis, and Gimel. Ashkoch, a protest, like I said in the beginning of the year, this year, when we're going to read Pasha Zohar, this Shabbos, we're going to read Pasha Zohar. Pasha Zohar is going to be on Yud Aleph. So this talk, we read Zohar as Agdoma to, to, the, to, to reading the Megillah. So this year, Kumto is the Kvius that we're reading it. David shall help. Mataka, we shall go up.